of UVA. Eighth play of this drive here. Third and ten. Here's a shot. Oh, what an effort! Kanan Severin, one hand stabs it. Fly paper, baby. How about that? That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. Some sticky gloves right there. And Severin saying, hey, the other side's not the only side that can make the game-changing kinds of play. Oh, are you quarterback? Watch double pass here. Allen can throw it. And he does, but well over the head of Damian Alford. He's only 6'6". He'd have to be 9'6 in order to catch that one. Wait a second. <laughs> Watch what Gary Schrader does in this play. What? How about that for <laughs> distraction? <laughs> On first down, Ooh, the whole weird play offensive here. lineman drops down, and now they got a convoy, Look at that. and this is going to be a touchdown. What a play call by Campbell. You're going to see that on Sports oh. Center top 10, not top 10. What a play that was. That at, at any level of football. Touchdown Watch these table. offensive linemen here. Just, you know, take a little break. Just kidding. We're going to throw it for a house call to our quarterback. You've never seen this before. You might not see it again. Wilson looks and a pass on target for a first down to the 35. Bowlware suplexes Strickland. Bowlware will hit anybody anytime. And case in point was right there. Larry's got time. Williams in pursuit and it's thrown away intended for Rooks. Larry's done a nice job not turning it over. He came into this game having not thrown a pick in his previous 146 passes. Tack on 32 more without an interception tonight. Both quarterbacks just mobile enough. Medium for the second consecutive year. Winston back firing complete. Here's O'Leary battling away. Powerful run for the young man from South Florida. His grandpa, Jack Nicholas, is going to be proud of this run. Oh, maybe Jack taught him this. It's, it's lower in the shoulder. The big fella. Boom! Right over top of Travis Blanks. 87 yards per contest. Nathan Peterman back the other way to a lineman. Brian O'Neill, number 70, down the sideline. And O'Neill goes to the end zone for Pitt. That looks like a play maybe Johnny Majors would have designed right there. How about the big fella, Brian O'Neill, left side is the edge man on the line of scrimmage, becomes an eligible receiver. This is what you call the old shuck screen, and it's the big fella that's going to shove it in the end zone. And now he's going in motion. They are going to throw it. It's Ballard, and it's intercepted. Trey Red picks it off on the trick play, and he's racing. Won't be caught. Pick six. They tried to throw it with the backup quarterback, Kate Ballard. Instead, third pick of the year for Red. And their first two touchdown lead of the game. Batted down. Picked up. Is it going to be a scoop and score? Let's see. Down it down the sideline. Needs a block. Gets it. Touch. And a late flag, too. From Lakeland, Florida. Watch this play. I mean, great job. He knows I'm in position. He has to pitch that ball. Let me reach out there and take it. And then look at the stiff arm by the big man. Who said defensive players couldn't run the ball? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a member of the union. <laughs> No, when you go to the well too often, all of a sudden the defensive end knows he's in position every time. You're going to make the pitch, and that's what's going to happen. I'm going back to him again right here. They do, but the ball came loose. Now who recovers it? It squirted into the end zone. Did Florida State jump on that football? Cameron Irving appears to have it. It's a touchdown for the Seminoles, and what a break. It was never a clean exchange because of the penetration. The football comes out, Nick O'Leary just Johnny on the spot. Wow. It's not how you draw it up. Rodwell on to punt. And it is a fake as Rodwell takes it ahead. 
to the 39 yard line. You got to roll the dice sometimes Brock first down Georgia Tech and Mr. Rodwell you may want to get your pads down at contact but a well executed play with the exact look they wanted to to put that offense back on the field. It was worth the pain. What do you do to make you more of a Seattle person. Well I don't carry an umbrella. Oh and I play for the storm. Didn't Sports Illustrator name you like the most underrated player in the NFL? They did, rightfully so. Wow. What would you do with a Stanley Cup? Take it up to Space Needle for sure. Well, this is great. All right, I think that's good. Black winding down. They want to throw. And no one to go for bench. The football is loose, and Miami's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Kane. Shayon Green forced it. And the Canes with a huge takeaway to get it right back and get seven out of it. You throw that football in the direction of your tailback or you just try to throw it at his feet. You don't want to be able to give the football up on a sack. Incomplete. Picked off. Picked off. It's still alive. Neely. He's got blockers. Neely still on his feet. And finally taken down from behind at the 30. I've got to see that again. Well, there's Samuels, 28. He's right up here. He's at the top of your screen. Ball popped off the foot into the air. Neely makes an excellent play. And in this, right in this moment, he thinks I'm scoring a touchdown. And here comes Jalen Samuels, the freshman. Samuels, 28, going to come in and strip it out of Neely's hands and actually takes it out of his hands on the way down. Took it right away from him. Brissett has it picked off. Brissett's got to chase him down or DJ White will score. Touchdown Georgia Tech. DJ White. He's the workhorse. Gets it again. Again to the outside. It'll be a foot race. What a <laughs> stiff arm. And then another one. Inside the 15. Down to the 12 yard line. This is it. Uh, Trey Williams. Look at that stiff arm. That's embarrassing. And this time out of the eye. The ball pops out. Carter lost it. And the Hokies pounce on it inside their own five. A costly turnover for North Carolina. Virginia Tech still in it. Javon Quillen. Could have done a lot more damage there. He had a lot of green turf right in front of him. Had their face masks tangled up. Had to be separated as Hampton breaks free. Amari on Hampton. Down the sideline. Home run speed for Hampton. Touchdown. We'll see if he had this ball all the way through. Look at him. Tiki Barber in it. Holding it up tight. Let's see. Oh. It looks like it might have came. But if that ball came loose before the one yard line and it goes through the side of the end zone, it would not only be Clemson football, it would be Clemson football out at the 20 yard line. Woo! That's what He's also Good rebuilding job. the attitude and the character of this team. Third and six and a half. What a catch by Diggs. Stefan Diggs, first down Maryland to the 33. A one hand grab reaching back for Stefan Diggs. These are the kinds of plays we get from number one. Not only does he catch it one hand, he makes a couple guys miss. Winston takes off. Makes a man miss. Inside the 20. Jameis Winston hurdles inside the 10. Sidestep to tackler and dives to the end zone. The complete running skill set on display there. The career long for Jameis Winston. Tailback on second and six. Receiver screen for Diggs. Sheds a tackler. The stiff arm. The first down down the sideline. Stephon Diggs, the high step and the dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Maryland. 41 yards for Diggs. And we talk about Stephon Diggs' ability for the big play. Here he is, open field, ball in his hands, hard to stop. Into their stances late. 
Almost the tempo is getting him so quickly. Sims on to keep and nudged out. And it took a pretty good spill as he went in among the cheerleaders for Virginia. And a cheerleader does go down as Sims went out of bounds, picking up six yards. And certainly hope that she is okay. But he picks up a first down. Yes, you know, he gets pushed out of bounds and just kind of stumbles.